Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are well. I'm getting an early start here on today's project. So, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, what is today's project? Oh, I know. We're going to make some pumpkins, or try to, because Halloween's coming up, Thanksgiving's coming up. So, um, I thought I should do some kind of themed stuff for the holidays and the different, you know, times of year. You know, we'll kind of do certain themed items. So, you know, we'll do some Halloween stuff and maybe some Thanksgiving items or decorations. And then we can move on to like Christmas or holiday, uh, that type of stuff. Maybe some ornaments. I don't know. Okay, let's just get started. Um, let's see. Let's let's make a pumpkin so let's just grab a sphere yeah perfect let's make it orange and then we'll grab this make it green <laughs> oh my gosh is this a, is this a beautiful pumpkin, everybody? Oopsies. Um, I'm just joking. If uh, if you haven't caught on yet, this we're not gonna make something this this awful and easy. Oh my gosh! You know what's funny is it's still kind of cute. Um, let's just at least align this. Okay, that only took like less than a minute. Um, we're going to make, we're going to try to make some way better than this. Um, let me just group these. We'll keep this one here for reference. There we go. <laughs> it's a, oops. I want it to keep its color here. So if you want something to be multicolored, you can just select this here and it'll stay like you wanted it. Okay. Let's, um, well, here, let's drop this down a couple. I was just joking. We're not going to make, I'm not going to print that. Okay. So what we can do though, because pumpkins kind of have like lobes. So, which are like the ribs. Yeah. I guess the lobes are, oh, I don't know. I grow giant pumpkins. So I'm using a term that most people wouldn't. So ribs. So, uh, let's see. So let's grab this deal, this ring. Okay, does it have... Okay, this is already cranked up, so it's as smooth as it can get. Um, let's just drop it so it's right... You can hit D to drop stuff right to the work plane. Um, let's make it bigger. Okay, so what we're going to do with this one... So we can, let me show you, here, let's stretch this out like this. And let me show you how easy we could, we could just go like this, uh, duplicate, and then grab this arrow. And then if you stay inside this blue circle, it'll snap in place every, what is it, 22 and a half degrees. If you move outside the circle, it'll move uh, fluently one degree one degree at a time so let's stay inside here because I think them will you know they will uh, match up if you keep duplicating to 360 I think so watch so if we just do this we already have a better pumpkin it's kind of like a squash like an acorn squash here let me stretch it up oh whoops whoops okay we forgot to group it. Uh, let's, yeah, just for the, just because we're going to make a few pumpkins and we're going to print the best one or a couple maybe. Okay, let's group this one. And I honestly want to, uh, I think if I stretch this up, this is like exactly what an acorn squash looks like. Maybe if we make a, a harvest basket, like for Thanksgiving or something, that's like a perfect acorn squash. But we're not making acorn squash today. We're making pumpkins. Okay, let's shrink this down. 
We can make some better ones than this too, but this one's pretty cool. Oh, let's make it orange. This one looks like a Cinderella. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. There's pumpkins called Cinderella pumpkins, and they kind of are flat and squat like this. Yeah, 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 this is a good idea. Um, let's make a flat, we'll have a flat spot on the bottom of some of these. Yeah, this is a good idea. Ah, do you guys like this one? That's our first one. Um, okay, let's start a lineup. Oh, no. Hello. Okay, let's start a lineup of our designs. Okay, we got Simplicity. And this will be Cinderella. Let's make a stem for it. Um, I thought of a couple ways to make some stems. Watch. Let's try this. I think this is going to be cool. Okay, a Cinderella pumpkin. Here, let me make... I'm using the draw tool to make... A goofy shape like this because like where a pumpkins attached to a stem or attached to the pumpkin they they kind of have like these you know weird I don't know what to call them shapes you'll see in just a second um this okay let's fill this in and we can always use the erase tool because I think this blob is too crazy. So let's grab the erase tool. I know I've said it before, but I really should get like a drawing pad thing. Because I think you could really do more detailed stuff with like a mouse pen or is that what I need? There, let's try this. If this doesn't work, it's your guys' fault. Oh, just kidding. Uh, let's do... I'm going to do one millimeter. Or should I do two? Or even smaller. Point one. Am I going to break the... I don't know. Let's do point two. Okay. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to... I learned... Something... Um, Okay, let's hit duplicate. Okay, so we have two of these little flat sections. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hold down Alt and Shift, and then I'm gonna make one a tiny bit smaller. Oops, here, let me do it from here. Okay, and because Alt and Shift will try to keep it center when you make something bigger or smaller. It will it will keep the object center and, and right now I want it centered um, so we have one that's smaller and let's raise it up oops let's go like this I hope it remembers our thing um, it doesn't look smaller oh did we make it bigger well that would work too because we could flip it over okay this is, I don't know. Oh, and you know what? We could turn it ever so slightly. Oh my gosh, is this going to work? Watch this, guys. Oh, no, no, no. Bad, bad. Don't, don't do that. Wow. Wow. We're making like a blob. Okay, start over. Start over. Don't look at me. Okay, do we have just one? Well, maybe we better keep two in case I screw up again. Okay, that's all part of it. Don't don't worry about it. We're, we're good. We're good. Okay, watch this. Duplicate. Let's raise it up. Let's spin it a little bit. Is that even spun? That is. And then let's make it a tiny bit smaller. This should work. Okay, let's see. Is that even smaller? Now let's hit duplicate. There we go. 
This is what I wanted, guys. Yeah. We can always stretch it. Oh, yeah, it's getting small kind of fast. We can stretch it up, though. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I told you, you guys did not believe me. <laughs> After that first blob I made. So, yeah, we, uh, this is really detailed, but we're going to have to stretch it up because it's way too. Okay, let's stop there. I think. Oh, gosh, this is fantastic. I hope I don't crash my computer because this is like a 50 parts, 50 objects. You know, each one of these is a separate object. Um, this is really good, right? Okay, let's stretch it up, though, because, yeah, see? Oh, this is like the best pumpkin stem ever. Um, let's do green. Dark green? No. Well, Cinderella's. Oh gosh, it's going to have this kind of uh, gray look because of the edges of all the... <laughs> oh, that's cool. Let's combine it. Maybe it'll help. I think it'll still show some lines, but... Okay, let's combine it. Oh, my poor computer. Or internet, I guess. <laughs> well... Good thing it's very early morning right now. Maybe nobody's using the internet in the world. Okay, well let's let's um, we're gonna have to let that group. So see if it's oh it oh gosh, see it's gonna it's gonna keep this weird gray gray look because um, of all the edges. It's showing the edges of the lines. Okay, let's make it lighter green. All right, let's put it on our pumpkin. Um, let's see. Maybe we'll try to make one with less layers and it won't look so weird. I mean, it's going to print awesome, but it just looks weird on here. Okay, let's see. We can pull this up. Uh, we can hit F to center whatever we're working on. So that's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and align. Use the align tool to do this oh we are very awesome yeah that's cool okay all right let's make okay so this was just our second pumpkin did we drop this one down a little cinderellas are kind of flat i might even make this one flatter yeah I'm actually going to squish that down even more. Oh my gosh, this stem is so funny. You, you can't even see the detail till you get close. Uh-oh, I might have to sneeze. Editor, get your fingers ready. <coughs> Excuse me. But I'm sure I edited that out so I didn't have to say excuse me. So you guys just, I'm just, that's how polite I am. I just say that. Okay, done. Let's stop messing with it. I wish it wouldn't look so gray like that, but that's not, that's just all the edges of the 50 layers. Okay, combine. We could actually make, this is our second pumpkin. We'll see whatever one turns out best. Oh, yeah. See, it's having to think again because I'm combining these. Um, okay, so we're actually... I want to make a pumpkin that these ribs on a normal pumpkin would kind of come in at the top like this. But the way we did them rings, it doesn't work like that. See, this just is rounded at the top. I want it to kind of swoop inward. So I think I know how to, how to do that. So let's line up our pumpkins over here. A boop. A boopage. Here, let's look at our two pumpkins. 
Eh. Okay. Kind of weird looking. Okay, let's make a better one. Okay, so we're actually going to grab... Let's do the ring again. Let's do the ring again on this one also. Okay, tip it up just like last time. Oops. Oh, geez. Um, I don't know why I started over. Okay, tip it up. And look, you can grab this if you want to drag stuff up. So I always just drag it above, and then you can hit D to drop it down. I'm going to hold Shift to um, uh, enlarge, expand, make it bigger. Uh, if you're holding Shift, it'll do it uniform like this. See, it's staying uniform. If you're not holding Shift, then it can get all crazy. See? Uh, boop. Go back. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, let's start with this and... Uh, okay, let's just start with this. But this time, we're going to hit duplicate. This might take a couple tries. We're going to spin it a little bit. This time, we'll just freeform it. Well, maybe not. Let's try something quick. This might take a couple tries. Okay, let's do this same thing like this again. But this time, let's move it. We're going to move it so... See this See this part right here? Let's move it so these kind of match up like this. Yeah, see like this? Um, Let me think. We might have to rotate it more than this, but... Um, okay, let's just try it. Ready? Oh, no, this is good. Yeah, you guys see what's happening? I should have it centered better. Um, let's keep going. This is it, guys. Look at pumpkin. Yeah, oh, wow. That's a good one. See, that worked because see that that brought, you know, that brought these in these ribs in like this. Let's make another one of them crazy stems, but maybe not quite so many layers. Let's just use this again because this is fine. It's cool. We can make stems different, but I think this is a good way. Um, so let's yeah, let's just do it a little bit different um should we make it a little taller because we don't want to just do the same thing over again yeah let's try one with uh less layers maybe then it'll look better at least on this program uh duplicate and we're going to raise it Okay, we'll raise it three tenths of a millimeter. Let's just do a little spinach. Sorry. Oh, wow. Come on now. I probably could have just typed in how much I wanted it to spin, but I'm not that awesome. Okay, and now let's hold control and shift and make this a little smaller. There. Oh, whoops. Oh, um, is that going to get small too fast? Make it a little bigger. Okay, let's just try that. Okay. Yeah, this is good. You know, we could have probably even, I wonder if we could still do that. Um, let's just do this one like this. Oh, wait, it is moving off to the side. Oh, God, this is awesome. Um, I heard a term for making shapes by this. They called it wave duping. 
that HR mod guy, have you have you seen him? I just subscribed to him. He's awesome. Uh, he called it wave duping. I'm like, oh, cool. I guess I've done it before, but didn't know what to call it. I guess when you try to make organic shapes by hitting duplicate, basically. Should we just keep going with this? This is so fantastic. I don't want to stop. Oh, we are awesome. Okay. Uh, I probably should stop there. Hello, kitty. I have a kitty by me now. Don't meow now. Okay. Uh, sorry. Just getting the cat settled in. Um. Oh, this is great, guys. Look at that stem. We thought the other one was good. This one's good. Okay, let's turn this one green. Do we want the dark green? No, it's a little too dark. We'll just stick with this for now. Um, I guess we can also group it. Um, group. Sorry, I was just thinking. Like you could, you could change this top. Like we could try to make a more. Maybe a, a top that's not quite so perfect. Whoops, I guess it's already been 21 minutes. We're going to make one more goofy. We're going to make one more pumpkin. I could do this all day, but you guys will yell at me if the video is too long. And not really, but you get what you know. People don't want to watch really long videos, I don't think. Um, hey, for my 100 subscriber special, if I, once I get to 100 subscribers, because this is a brand new channel, if you guys didn't know, um, it's only like a week old. And once I get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a mega project. I'm going to do something crazy, and I'm just going to record the whole thing. It's going to be a very many, and I'll, I'll probably make a long version and a short version. Like, I'll just, I'll do like a full upload. We'll have to think of a good idea. So stay tuned for that. Oh my gosh, did we just make the best pumpkin on Tinker? Look at the stem, it's growing. Okay, let's make sure it's uh let's make sure it's nice and settled in there. I might print it separate. Maybe not though. I don't really have good orange and green filament right now, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll paint paint them I don't know I can worry about that you guys don't have to worry about that okay because what we're gonna print these out oh my gosh this one's great oh wow yeah let's just group this ah look at our first one why did it turn we want to leave it multicolored. Is this one multicolored still? You can't tell because of all that gray edges. Okay, that one's going to think for a while. Wow, this one's good. This might be the one that I should print. I could seriously just sit here and make pumpkins all day. Okay, well that's... Uh, processing. Let's grab one of these rings. We're going to try something, make it like a little more artsy looking one. So not so, <clears throat> excuse me, realistic. Okay, so let's grab this and hit D to drop it. Uh, okay, let's, the sides are already up. There, our pumpkin's done. Oh, it switched it. It always switches it out of multicolor when you uh, combine. But we're putting it back. Of course, once again, the stem looks weird until you get close. See? Oof, it's so great. Okay, let's put this off to the side. Look, our pumpkins are getting better. 
<laughs> Did you guys like this one? I'm going to print this one for the thumbnail. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Bad marketing. Okay. What am I doing? Come on. I was just trying to grab it. Whatever. Hit F. Okay. Stop fumbling. Okay. Let's make this... Um, Why is it? So, I thought you could adjust the. Uh, I thought you could adjust the thickness of the ring, because this is going to be really thin to print. I mean, I guess it's okay. Or should I use this again? I don't know what to do. Let's just try it. Man, yeah, I thought you could make this whole thing a little thicker. Well, let's just try it. I wanted to try to use one of these rings. Um, so what we're going to do is... We're going to make it more like this. We're going to try to get a little crazier. We're going to make a more artsy looking one. Oh gosh, I'm sitting on my foot. It's falling asleep. You would think I'd be at a computer desk or something. I'm sitting in a cross-legged on a recliner. Okay, so let's hit duplicate and start doing weird stuff. Okay, so let's do our rotate. We're going to rotate. This time, let's not follow the rules. We're going to just rotate. Okay, we're going to try something. Let's do a bigger rotate, and then we also, I also want to tip it a little bit, because we got to get a little weirder. We're going to make an artsy one. Okay. Okay. We might have to delete this first one once we're done with this. Okay, and then we got to move it. I have no idea what's about to happen. Are you guys ready? Duplicate. Okay. Oh, oh, bad things are happening. Oh, really bad things. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, what, what is happening? Why am I still clicking? This is really cool looking, actually. This is not a pumpkin. Is this a pumpkin? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh gosh, I gotta stretch my leg out. I'm gonna have to print a leg brace. Okay, pretend that did not happen. Um, just go ahead and delete that. What What went wrong? We can, that's okay. That's part of, uh, part of doing this is to just try stuff. I got to see what went wrong though. Okay, so we're going to get back to where we were. I just had to delete that and pretend it didn't happen. Okay, let's make this bigger and I want to make this narrower. Okay. We got to leave it on the work plane. So this time I'm going to tip it first. And then I'm going to. Oh, wait, did I even duplicate? Probably not. OK, duplicate. And tip it. And spin it. Is the same thing going to happen? Okay. And also move it. Over. Okay. And back. 
Like I said, we might have to get rid of this one. Is this going to be bad again? Wow, I am doing really bad at this. It's not working. But in my brain, it's supposed to work. Is it all because I'm tipping it? Okay, let me start with one that's already tipped and duplicate it. Because I didn't raise it, so this should work. Oh my gosh. Oh, it is eventually going to make... Hey! Hey! We just made something! There's like a pumpkin... It, there's like a... There's an object inside of here. See? We tried that. Oops. Um, what did we just do? Okay. It eventually did make a shape. Okay, let's get rid of... Let me grab one of these rings, because we might try one more. Okay, yeah, 30 minutes, we're okay. I better wrap this up pretty soon. Let's try one more, though. Okay, this is already tipped, but... I mean, that's pretty cool. Like, I could... I, that's not bad. Let's do... Let's change the shape of this a little. Let's do this. Okay, we're going to try this again. We're going to hit... Okay, we're going to select it. Hit duplicate. And let's spin it. Yeah, let's just spin it kind of however we want. And then I'm going to kind of line up these two sides. Like right here. I don't know why, but that's what I'm going to do. There. This is going to do something. Is that a good explanation? Okay, let me center this because we're about to be pumpkineers. Duplicate. Yeah. Yes. This is kind of what I wanted to happen in the first place. Oh, look at this. Yes. This is what I wanted. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's make this one orange. This is what I wanted to make. Uh-oh, I just realized that's not going to print very well. Look, because of these. Well, hold on. What if we stretched it up? That actually might make it easier for it to print. There won't The overhangs won't be so bad. There's a lot of tall pumpkins. Oh, this is cool. Oh, no, do I have to print this? I'm almost going to have to. Okay, let's... You know what? Just because it's already been 35 minutes, should I just steal the stem off of this one? Or should we make like another more artsy stem quick? Oh. Let me try something. Promise it'll only take like two minutes. Let me just try something weird. So... If we just do a side profile of a stem, let's pretend like I'm looking. I guess you'll see. This might not work. Oh, I see it. It's going to have to be kind of even because I'm going to. OK. Uh. 
Um, uh, I better just try this because this might not work. Okay, watch this. Let's flip this up. A boopage. Okay, let's raise it above because it's sticking under. I hit D to drop. And let's make it a little narrower. Because what we're going to do is we're going to select this and hit duplicate. And we're going to do more wave duping. Um, yeah, let's just do this. Watch. Hey! Do I keep going? What am I doing? There! That's fantastic! Okay? See, we know what we're doing. Okay, let's make it green. A boop. We can make it smaller. It looks like it's pretty big. Let's put it up there, though. Wait, did I combine them? I did. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Okay, let's combine them. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm glad we took the time to do that. Uh, group. Dude, we've made some good pumpkins. Obviously, we'll have to look at them all and see what our favorites are. This will probably... I'll make this a little smaller once it's done. Yeah. So I'll hold shift. This looks like... Oops! That last movement. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. I must have let go of shift because it's it changed shape. Okay, let's put this over here. Um, did I turn this into an object? Okay, I'm going to combine just the pumpkin part first. Uh, come on. We're, we're breaking the internet. Uh oh, did we break it? We broke the internet. There we go. Okay, let's um let's this is a little too big still. Or a lot too big. Okay, let's just see visualize. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's center it. It's a little uh we have actually a lot of objects on this build. A line tool. I always say center but I guess that makes sense because I am centering it. So I am going to keep saying that. Uh, this pumpkin is not on our list. This is on the naughty list. Uh, delete. <laughs> okay, left one. Okay, and let's combine this one. And we are done. Now let's look at our finished products. And see which ones we want to print. Okay, that's going to take a little while. Yeah, I could tell it's being like laggy. Okay, I think we have two clear winners. Can I move this before it's done thinking? Oh, I can. I didn't even know that. See? I learned. Okay, here's our four pumpkins. Look, we made these in order, and we got better every time. Except maybe this one's the best one. Actually, 
It's probably in the eye of the beholder. We at least have to wait till it's done uh, thinking here. Yeah, this is really cool because, see, we have like a realistic pumpkin. I wish I had these exact colors of filament. I guess I could paint it or I could order the filament. Yep, these are our two keepers. I'm going to print both of these. I'll probably have to drop this. Oh, geez, it's green. It's a squash, a green squash. Let's do multicolor. Bam. Okay, yeah, I might have to drop this down a tiny bit so it's touching a little better. Uh, I'll, I'll deal with that. Oh, wow, I don't know. Which one's your favorite? Honestly? I don't know. These, we got to print both of these and see how they turn out. Okay, I'll stop jabbering. Now it's been 40 minutes. Whoops. Okay, we'll get right back to you when I'm done printing. Yay, pumpkins! Check it out. These turned out fantastic. Ugh. It's still stuck. Wow, look at how good they turned out. Okay, let me explain. So I printed these stems separate on the little printer, and I just glued them on just now. I hot glued them. Uh, that way I didn't, you know, I got a really good color change, you know. And I found this teal, kind of tealish green uh, filament that I had, so I didn't have to buy any. Um, and it it looks fine. I mean, it would probably look better if it was actual green, green. But um, should we see if this will come off? Uh, uh, uh. I don't want to break it. Oh, thank goodness. I should wait till this is completely... Uh, this one is so sturdy. There we go. I don't want to rip my glass off. Okay, there we go. Let's check it out. Just got to take the brim off. This is fantastic. Look at how great that stem looks. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd look cooler if it was in like a dark green filament. But still, that one's incredible. And this, I was proud that it printed. Let's see if this, how good the brim comes off. Oh, Look at that brim. Brims are great. Okay. That is fantastic. All right, hold on one second. Okay, yeah, these are free. these are fantastic. So, uh, yeah, I'm proud of the printer that it actually printed this without supports. Uh it's definitely left a little jankiness up in these uh top parts that I could definitely fix. Or I mean, I could kind of clean up, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, but I was proud that it printed it without supports and it's very cool. That's our little artsy pumpkin and I want to, oh wow, this one's heavy compared to that. Jeez, I might've wasted some filament on this. We could have probably made this more hollow. Um, there's almost little gaps between here, so maybe make yours a little wider, the ribs, but that stem, that's exactly what real pumpkin stems look like on these field pumpkins. Okay. Mega success. I, I, I better not say, hey, them are my new favorite because, you know, I say that all the time. Um, but I like these a lot. These are great. Um, okay, we're going to continue with Halloween theme for now because it's awesome and it's almost Halloween. Uh, and this is good for Thanksgiving, too. So these are pumpkins that never rot. So, all right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll keep putting out videos every single day. Thanks again. See you in the next one. Bye.